Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, the Third Reich, yes, simply for in, instigating an aggressive war. Ouch. But the only direct relevant multinational president, precedent uh, to support these charges was a 1927 agreement put together by the U.S. Secretary of State. Yes. Now, uh, when the German forces began to retreat from France and Belgium in 1944, yes, the Roosevelt administration began to think seriously about post-war Germany. <laughs> Nuremberg prosecutor Telford Taylor credited a group of New York lawyers, uh -huh, working in late 1944 and 45, with the ideas which led to the expanded principles of the Nuremberg trials. Yes. Now, they had a treaty, Churchill's proposition gained traction. Yes, American lawyers mounted a mock Hitler trial and discovered he would have had endless opportunities to make legal mischief and, at worst, might have argued himself out of a conviction. <laughs> then, uh, disposed to believe at least the chief Nazi officials, U.S. participate in international tribunal constituted by them. Yes, by a successful New York attorney. Yes, mm-hmm. Accused, charged, the procedure would especially apply to prominence whose misdeeds are well known, said uh, Heimlich Hitler. Mm. Himmler, yes, yes. <laughs> now, there is this treaty of the Ren renunciation of war. Poof. Uh, Nazi organization, the SS, the SA, the SD, and the Gestapo. <laughs> A conspiracy to commit war crimes. Oh, Bernays reasoned anyone could who would be proven to be a member that was also guilty. Yes. Now, let's see. <laughs> What's the difference between espionage and, and, and conspiracy to commit war crimes? Yeah. Now, I mentioned the United War Crimes Commission, uh, particularly offenses brought against Hitler and the chief Nazi war criminals. <laughs> Nazi organization, major trials, smaller trials, prosecuted individual organizations. <laughs> Harry S. President Harry Truman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. uh, Nazi leaders and farmhouse be throughout the Reich. And it's kind of like um, having top secret underground bunkers underneath the judges' chambers. Yes. I mean, if I went through each and every church of the United States, mm -hmm. did, you, did you decide to use any dirt without paying for it? Uh, are, are, you, are you believing uh, something... That this is the way that you're going to do things? Oh. <laughs> I think they believed the same thing back in Nazi Germany. Yes. I thought that when you know of somebody's rights being violated, you were all... Listen. We're going to have some Nuremberg trials. Yes. Involving some local pastors. Ouch. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, this idea of your, your top secret? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I really don't think so. I don't think we're going to go top secret. See, <laughs> when you use a forgery, yes. And uh, there's no signature of the petitioner? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you don't give me, the father of the five sons, any notice of court hearings? Right. And then my wife abducts my sons from Guam? Yes. And you issue court order after court order after court order. Yes. Then it's false arrest after false arrest after false arrest. Looks to me like we got a Nazi uh, group of individuals that don't. Well, that's the way it looks. <laughs> you don't assess actual valuation for every property of the county. Yes. There are those that are in the way. Yes. They come to find out. There are those that thought that they were in a special family that the laws don't apply to them. Pooch. Kind of like being in the Gestapo during the time of Hitler. Pooch. Isn't that what it is? You're in the family of what I did not see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, come to find out. Yes. They used to have a family very similar to yours. That not Nazi Germany? Well, I, I told you what the law says. Yeah. And I'm not living with my sons because you refuse to acknowledge the laws. Now, let's talk about the nation of Germany. Yes. <laughs> Could you get me the International Monetary Fund? <laughs> Every individual that's been employed in the IMF. 
a lot of them don't like me because I plan on removing it. <coughs> Who's the tall, skinny one? Wolfgang. Poop. Who's the tall? Oh, Christine Lagarde. How are you? It's Paul. Give me the president right now. The international. <laughs>